Think. So the lovely Jo McKeldry is here. Hello, how are Hello. you? Yes, I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you for coming in. So it all started, let's go back a little bit, when you won the X Factor three years ago in 2009. Now years. you're onto your fourth album. Time flies when you're having fun. Wow, <laughs> it, it, of course. Now it makes you the X Factor finalist with the most albums out ever. It's called Here's What I Believe. What can we expect? Um, it's kind of like, I suppose it, it, it's very similar to what people have seen us do on X Factor, but I think it shows a lot of development. I've done a lot of songwriting on this one, which is yeah. like so new for me. I would say it's like the poppy kind of mid-tempo ballads, just good emotional songs. Is there a song sung in Italian yes, as well? Yes, there is. The whole song? The whole song. Because I, because of the classic album last year and doing yeah. Pop Star at Star, and because this album's not classical, I kind of thought, oh, I still want to sing a little bit in Italian. Gosh. So it's, it's an Italian pop song, a really, really old Italian pop song. Are you fluent in Italian now? Just that song? Just the songs. <laughs> I wish I could speak it, but I'd, yeah. I learn them all phonetically, so I have to write them down in English, and then I read, like, basically <laughs> my own lyrics, yeah. like, that I've written down into Italian, So, and I have a coach as well, so... <sighs> yeah, nice challenge, though. And how was Pop Star to Op Star? Obviously, you won last year. How was all that, learning opera? Probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my career, vocally. Um, yeah. Like, it was like going to the gym every day for three hours. <laughs> like, by the end of it, I was like, oh my God, if I see another song. It was, I had to learn how to hit a high note in a classical song. Wow. So each note was a different technique, whereas an opera singer just does it like clicks and it's, it happens, you know? Yeah. And I had to learn how to do all of that. And it was like retraining myself, like, in my mind yeah. to forget everything I'd learned, but not at the same, it was weird. It's it was really a really hard amazing. process. Yeah, amazing. So you enjoyed it then? Oh, I had a blast. Yeah. And I mean, now it's it's helped us vocally so much. But at the time I was like, why did I, why did I sign up for this? Why I can't am I believe doing I did this? it. I'm hurting. So let's just whiz back a few years and have a quick natter about The X Factor. Yeah. A massive achievement to be crowned the winner in 2009, up against Ollie Mers as well. You know when you stood at the final and there's just the two of you yeah. and you're waiting there and you're waiting for your name, what is it actually like? Because I'm always on the edge of my seat. That's like a TV highlight of the year for me. Do you know, it's one of them moments um, where you literally have no control over your body. Like, <laughs> I had absolutely no control. Like, I, I'm, I feel physically sick thinking about it oh. right now. It's like, we, we stood behind those doors, um, and I was with Cheryl, Simon was with Holly, and I literally, I was, like, gripping Cheryl's, and I remember, and she was like, Squeezing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, we all kind of just said to each other, you know, whatever happens, well done, everybody. Yeah. And then you walk out, and that beaten sound of that stupid theme tune. Oh, <laughs> God, is your heart just like yeah, in your mouth? Like, I was literally, wanna, oh. and there was actually a point, if you look on the video of the climb, there's a point where I kind of like, I nearly passed out. There's really? a point where like, I kind of take a breath, and I'm like, <laughs> whoa, because I went all funny. <laughs> And it was just, because you, your heart is just like, I bet. and it's one of the, I can't actually remember what happened the next week. Like, oh. I literally, it was like being drunk for a whole week. Do you remember what happened as soon as you won? The first time you were on your own, you went back to your hotel room. What did you I do? Went, um, I went and met all the management team, the record label. And then I went into the canteen of the studio, seen all my family. Yeah. And then me and my mum went back to the X Factor house to pack all my stuff up because I had to be up Random. for daybreak the next day. Yeah. So you just like, want a glass of bubbles. <clears throat> I couldn't. I had to <laughs> sing at, at like six o'clock in the morning. So I think we left the studio about three, had an hour, like half an hour sleep. And then I got in the car and from then then on people tell us about things what happened that week and i'm like really did, did i say that like, did i do that yeah well are you in touch with any of the contestants still ollie mayor stacy solomon they yeah. were the same years yeah know, yeah they? um i speak to cheryl now and again yeah. see ollie at certain events and stacy you know we've all got each other's numbers and we text each other and when yeah. everybody's got a new thing coming out we're always well done congratulations mm. um but it's hard to see each other you know yeah. we're all in different places so super busy yeah but, but that's good yeah, you know, yeah, it's of nice course. That's what you were all busy. <laughs> yeah. So you've performed with George Michael and Dionne Warwick in the past. Any dream collaborations, dead or alive? Who would be your top three? You can have anyone. Ooh. Um, you can have Dappy if you want. I read somewhere that you were keen for that. <laughs> <laughs> is that true or is that a lie? <laughs> no, I, they, they asked, basically I got asked about if I would do any, like, strange collaborations. And yeah. I said something like a rap collaboration would be fun because nobody yeah. would put me with a rapper. And they were like, oh, who? And they, I think somebody said, do, would you do it with Dappy? And I said, you know, anybody would, it would, <laughs> it would be great. You know, I think Dappy's great. But. Yeah. Well, let's have a listen to your new single, Here's What I Believe, and we'll chat some more in a moment. Could you please see the radio cliche and introduce the Gemma Country? This is my brand new single, Here's What I Believe, which is available to download now. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Songs on your new album. How yes. did you find songwriting? 
to be honest with you, at the start, I didn't want to do it because I just didn't feel confident enough and I didn't really feel like, oh, what do I say, you know? It was just kind of one of them things. It was the right place at the right time. Your manager was like, please, I've booked you a day in the studio. Whatever comes out, you you never you might never have to listen to it again, but you never know. Yeah. I kind of just opened this floodgate and all of these words and lyrics started coming out and everybody was like, oh... And, um, and then the label liked the song. I, I feel quite lucky that I've been able to have three written, self-written songs on the album for the first time I've written because yeah. sometimes, you know, record labels are really strict when you mm. first songwrite. They're yeah. like, you know, yeah, yeah, it's okay, but, but they yeah. were really, really impressed. So I feel Aww. quite proud of myself. Oh, yeah, I can that, do this. It's be, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been quite an exciting discovery. And the beach on your album cover now, something tells me by wearing that lovely wintry coat, that that ain't the Seychelles. No, That's it's not Hawaii. South Shields. South Shields, <laughs> <way. laughs> Oh, you missed a trick there. You could have gone to the label well, and be like, we should really do this in Bora Bora. Well, you know, I, I, thought, I thought because I had done the songwriting and because I'd kind of you know, it was a bit more personal. It was about personal experiences and things like that. I yeah. thought, yeah, I could have went to a beach in <laughs> Barbados or somewhere. Yeah. Could have went anywhere, but it doesn't have that personal it link. Fit, really, you, it really, would well, it? And it doesn't have a personal link, you know. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to make it like, they were they were all the places I visited. That's just where I grew up, you know. Yeah. I grew up on that beach. I went to that beach in the summer. Not that we had many summers, <laughs> but... Um, Do you get to go and, home much, then? Yeah, well, I try and live there still as much yeah. as possible. Yeah. And I just thought it would be nice because, you know, people know I'm from there, but I thought it would be nice to share it with the rest of the country, you know, where, where, yeah, where it all began, you know, yeah. and represents our shields. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I always wonder if um, when you're singing in the shower as a singer, do you sing your own stuff? No. Dappy stuff. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> There's Joe rapping away. <laughs> um, sometimes uh, if I'm rehearsing, if I've got a show or something or I'm doing like a TV show, I'll practice it in the shower like yeah. in the morning, you know, but and I do belt it out. Do I, you? I'm the the neighbours must hate me. Because oh, I do whack fantastic. the tunes Good job, you've got a great voice, eh? My <laughs> neighbours, woof. Uh, if you weren't Joe McEldrew the singer, what would you be doing? Well, I was at college doing performing arts before everything kicked off, but I also did want to be a paramedic. Oh, okay. Yeah, or I wanted yeah. to be a paramedic or like a nurse or some kind of medical profession. So, yeah, very you know, you might have seen, I might have been treating people in a hospital. Um, I saw your tweet yesterday saying you love in Manchester. Uh, have, you been, have you been able to hang out quite a bit here? This is the only other place I would probably contemplate contemplate moving to yeah really yeah like I, i'm i'll just there's something about it i just love it whenever i get to come here for work i'm like yeah yes good well that's good to hear finally you're from south shields does that make you a geordie or a sand dancer so it's quite a complicated one this <laughs> okay because try me. if i was just from south shields you'd be a sand dancer but my dad's from newcastle okay so i'm a little bit of a mix right of a geordie and a sand dancer okay because my dad is from whitley beer so, and we're going up to the northeast soon. So he's a, a proper Geordie. Yeah, he's not got the accent anymore, though. He really? just, as a kid, I think he moved when he was about six or ten. But you, bit you, of a I've just heard a really good Geordie accent. How we going on, man? Well, I want you to teach me some Geordie isms, if possible. Right. I can give you some Lancashire lingo, but I, I particularly like YA chicken pie. Was that, that was all right. Actually. YA chicken pie. Yeah. I'll let you ever <laughs> say that. People used to see it in school, like, years ago. But if you, I think if you said that now, you'd probably get punched. Why are you chicken pie? Have you got any Geordians you can um, teach me? This is, like, proper Geordian. People probably <laughs> wouldn't say this, but are you going and doing the two and the neat? Wow, that's awesome. That's like, are you coming out, like, For clubbing? Are you coming out clubbing tonight? Okay. Everybody says down the town as if it's, like, down, down somewhere, town. even yeah. though it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, that's a hard one. Okay, well, you've got some Lancashire slang. We've got leggett. Leg it. That's run, if you want to run. Yeah, we see that now and again. Yeah. We see that. Giz a skin. I think that's just a northern thing. What's that? What's that? Giz a skin. That's, um, please may I take a look. Giz a skin. Giz a skin. There you go, you can have that. <laughs> take that South Shields with you, big <laughs> sand dancer. And, um, ookin. What do you think ookin is? Ookin. That's jolly good. Jolly oh. good ookin. Do you never... say that? No, I don't. Ookin. Ookin. Well, the say, the say, um, what's that one? Oh, I forgot. Somebody said something to us the other day. Oh, I've totally forgot it. Like, you're right something, something on Pets. the end. You're no, right, Pets. Is it Chuck? No, you, yeah, or Duck. Duck, that's, that's the one. In, that's, I think that's down in Stoke. Is yeah. it? You're right, Duck. It's a bit weird, Yeah, somebody said that to us the other day. Yeah. And I was like, oh. You're like, hey, what? One. That's odd. <laughs> it's like in Australia, how you going? You're like, I'm not going anywhere, I'm here, how you going? Where are you going? No, I'm, I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Random. But anyway, thank you very much, Joe McEldry. You've been ooking. That's jolly good. I'm going to leg it to the next <laughs> station now. How are you? <laughs> thank you so much. All the best with your new single thank and your you. new album. Thank, thank you so very much.